dear friends. Today we, along with Regatha and Princess Lou, decided to swim in the lake. Hurry up and get into the water. It's really warm today. Hey, Princess, aren't you tired of swimming with us here? Looks like you're not tired at all. Yes, she wants to spend as much time with us today as possible because she'll be going back to her candy kingdom very soon. By the way, guys, I completely forgot to tell you that we'll be going on a tour to the candy kingdom very soon. We'll go there with Kane and all our other friends. If you want to see our journey there, be sure to like this video. Looks like the princess is really tired and wants to tell us that it's time for her to leave. Wait, what's this now? Jax, have you really become so shameless? He's been acting too boldly lately, so we need to teach him a lesson. It seems like the princess has just headed home. Do you dare to film us swimming too? Well, yes. I just wanted to take a couple of photos as a memory. There's nothing wrong with that. Why are you so surprised? Actually, it's not normal at all. Why are you even doing this? I told you, I just wanted to take a few photos as a memory because it will make a very beautiful photo. I also think it's not normal at all. Let's figure out how to teach him a lesson for this. What do you suggest we do then? I think we should set up some sort of trap in his house. Hey, Jax, stop eavesdropping on our conversation. We're actually discussing how to teach you a lesson here. We'll put you in this cage on the yacht. Now you'll see Sit there until we come for you. Let me out of here, please, because if the jelly crocodiles come home, I'll be in big trouble. Ragatha, let's go to his house quickly and set up a trap there. Of course, that's definitely a great idea, so let's go to his house quickly. I even have a few ideas of what we can do. My idea is to set up carrots in such a way that he'll walk into the pit. Wow, that's actually a great idea. We need to hurry to his house now and find a good spot to execute our plan. I think we have only one small problem. We need to dig a pit with something. Do you happen to have any tools with you? Unfortunately, I forgot my shovel at home today. I always take it with me. Why did I leave it under the bed today of all days? In that case, we only have one option left. We need to go down to his basement and look for something useful there. We need to find something to dig the pit with. In that case, let's go downstairs quickly. I'm pretty sure we can find a pickaxe in one of those chests. All right, my intuition tells me that everything we need is stored right in this cabinet. I wonder how we even managed to get such a huge TV. Look at this, Pomni. I've already found the pickaxe. Here, take it. With this, you'll definitely be able to dig the pit. And I'll try to find some carrots here right now. Wow, you really managed to find what we need incredibly quickly. Of course, find some carrots quickly. Well, here's the carrot. It was in the drawer right under the TV. Now let's go and build our trap. Of course, let's go outside and get started. By the way, I hope the jelly crocodile didn't come home and didn't harm Jax. Wait, there's very little carrot here. Do you happen to have some more? Of course, I have a lot of it from his chest. Quickly put it right here. That's great. In that case, I'll lay a small path of carrots right here to this spot. Hey, What's this? Where did this jelly crocodile come from? Looks like he came for the smell of food. Hey, jelly crocodile, please don't eat the carrots we laid out here. They're not meant for you at all. You can go to McDonald's right now and eat burgers to your heart's content. It's good that we managed to chase him away from here. It will be a small problem that he'll eat all the burgers at McDonald's, but it's okay. Nothing to worry about. Now we can continue building our trap for Jax. Somewhere right here, we can dig a small pit for him. We need to dig not a very huge pit so that he doesn't get hurt when he falls in here. Great, now we just need to put some carrots at the bottom and he'll definitely fall in here. No, I think we need to dig one block deeper. Actually, you're right, Ragatha. Then he definitely won't be able to jump out of here so easily. Now, I've put some carrots at the bottom just as planned. Now everything is definitely ready. It's a shame we don't have some leaves to slightly camouflage our trap. Nevertheless, he'll definitely fall into it. I think it'll be fine as it is. Now we need to go back to the jelly crocodile's yacht and free him from the cage we locked him in. Actually, we came up with a fantastic revenge plan for him. I really like it. I hope the jelly crocodile didn't bother Jax too much when he returned to his yacht. By the way, Ragatha, take this pickaxe. I think you'll be much better at breaking the bars than me. This cage is really strong and I'm very tired from digging the pit. Look at this, guys. Jax is still in this cage. I'm so glad the jelly crocodile didn't help him escape. And now our plan will definitely come into action. Of course he didn't help him because we allowed him to eat all the food at McDonald's. Well, now hurry up and open this cage, Ragatha. Guys, you finally came back for me. The jelly crocodile came to me and demanded maple syrup. All right, just come out to us already. Thank you so much for not forgetting about me and coming back to get me out of here. And now I'm going home right away because you've really annoyed me. Great, he's heading home now. Now we need to find a place to observe him from there. By the way, is there any boat here so we don't have to swim to the shore ourselves? Unfortunately, there's not a single boat left here. The jelly crocodiles must have hidden them somewhere. Too bad, but nevertheless, the way from here to the shore is not that far. Just look at that, Ragatha. He's heading home along the shore right now, and it seems like he wants to stop by McDonald's for a snack. I really hope he's still at least a little hungry. And right now, I suggest we go to my house and watch 
watch him from there? That's a great idea, as we probably won't find a better place to observe from. We need to quickly run past McDonald's so he doesn't notice us and figure out our plans. We're running to your house, and probably we'll stand right on the first floor, as there's a very good view of everything around from there. Just look at that, Ragatha. He's already running home. Now all we have to do is behave quietly so he doesn't accidentally overhear our conversations about the trap? Right now he should be coming out of his little house and notice the carrot on the ground. Look, there he is. He's coming out of his house. Great. That means our plan is working successfully so far. Wow, who could have scattered so much crispy and delicious carrots here? Look, he's almost reached the pit we dug at the end of the carrot patch. Just look. He's almost fallen into the pit we dug. Let's hurry over there and have a laugh at him. Yes, he's almost fallen down. Let's hurry over there. Guys, have you completely lost your minds? I thought someone just left a lot of carrots here. Why did you set up this trap for me? Here, take some more carrots and continue sitting in that pit now. I swear I'll never spy on you or take photos of you without your consent ever again. What about it, Ragatha? Should we forgive him and let him go from here? I thought we'd teach him a great lesson, especially since he's our friend. So let's release him from here. I honestly declare that I'll never spy or do anything like this again. Thank you so much for deciding to let me out of here. In that case, we can all go for a great walk together right now. Guys, right now we'll go for another walk today. Plus, we'll definitely invite Kane and Princess Lou to join us before she heads to the Candy Kingdom. Oh guys, there's nothing more pleasant than a warm shower first thing in the morning! With the weather being so hot today, I decided to take both a bath and a shower at the same time. I need to figure out how to escape from this amazing circus. I can't stay here any longer. I need to get out as soon as possible! Maybe I can help you come up with a plan? We can escape together. Wait! Did you seriously sneak into my bathroom? I'm bathing here. Didn't you know it's not okay to enter when someone is bathing? Get out of here now or I'll call Kane. Come on, he's far away. He definitely won't come. Why bother him? Besides, I want to show you a magic trick. I'm a real magician. Trust me, you'll like my trick, you know. Let me show you a trick. Okay, show me the trick and then leave. I hope it really is a good trick. Some kind of weird trick with a gift? Don't think you can surprise me with that. I'm not easily swayed by gifts. But this isn't just any gift. It's the most unusual gift you've ever received. I don't even know what's inside this gift, but it's something very interesting. You'll definitely be surprised when you find it. All right, you've got me curious. Show me what it is. Wonder what you've prepared in your gift. Could it really be a golden carrot? Wait, did you really steal my pants? So, you've been hiding in my closet all this time just to steal my pants? Do you even realize what I'm going to do to you for breaking my rule? What rule? There was no rule. Don't make things up. You're not really going to chase me over some pants, are you? I appreciate your attention, but let's just stay friends, okay? What are you planning? I'm planning to take your carrot and stick it right behind you. You've crossed all the lines. This is totally wrong. I usually get very angry for such things. Now you can't even catch me. You won't really hit me in front of Kane, will you? Kane, please help me. He's up to his old tricks again. Jack stole my favorite pants and he won't give them back. He was peeping at me in the bath. Guys, guys, I understand you're playing, but we have a very important matter at hand. Give her back the pants. I'm not joking. We have an urgent mission that we must undertake. Wait, so something is threatening us again? All right, we'll deal with your pants stealing later. But first, let's get the information. Tell us what this important mission is and what we need to do. What important mission could there be? Is there anything more important than eating a delicious good carrot? I don't think so, so don't make things up. This is no time for jokes. This is really very important. The amazing digital circus is in great danger, and if we don't help it, things could get really bad. Of course. It all sounds very strange, but we have no other choice. All right, if it's that important, I agree. Let's go back to the circus. I hope I can be of some help at least. Guys, don't waste any time. Run after me. I have something to show you. I'm not joking, guys. This is really important. Without it, our world is doomed. Once we do this, I'm sure we can save our world. Yeah, tell me what happened. You've got me interested now. I don't care about anything except carrots, but here you come with some mystery. You see these frames? We need to fill them with special leaflets found on this map. If we don't do it, something terrible will happen. A real apocalypse that we definitely won't survive. But what will happen? You haven't told me yet. Tell us all the details. We need to know at least what we're dealing with. Maybe it's not that dangerous and you're just panicking for no reason. Kofmo has decided to attack us again. He plans to create many teleportation portals in our circus to move around and attack us. We must urgently find all the leaflets. So if we put all the leaflets in, the spell will work and he won't be able to create portals. Well, good. It makes sense, and we can try to save the amazing digital circus. 
Sounds interesting. I can't believe I'm saving this digital world with you. I'd rather be at home taking a bath, but because of you, I have to do this. Be careful with your words, because if it weren't for me, you wouldn't even know that this world needs saving. So, where are we going to find these leaflets? Look, I think I've already found the first note. If you talked less, you'd probably have found several more by now. Let's put our disagreements aside for the moment. We need to find these notes. Yeah, yeah, we need to find these notes. Otherwise, our world might perish. Tell me honestly, would you miss the times when I played pranks on you? No, we're not going on a date because the world won't end. We'll find all the notes and stop this villain, and no one, not even you, can stop us. I'm very serious about this. So you think it will be that easy to defeat him? It seems suspicious to me that such a powerful villain can be defeated just by notes. There's something odd about this. There's nothing odd about it. These notes have spells on them, as we were told. Do you really think Cain would deceive us? He's our best friend. He has never lied to us or betrayed us. Of course, I don't doubt him, and it looks like we found another note. Still, it all seems very suspicious to me. Oh my gosh! I can't understand how your speech is generated. First, you talk about one thing, then you immediately switch to something else. It's very strange. Honestly, I also think it's a bit suspicious how many of these notes are scattered around here. This task seems strange, but we have no choice but to do it. Or do you suggest something else? As I've already said, I suggest we go on a date, but you don't seem to like that idea. Maybe you have a suggestion, like going for a walk together? I'll think about it. Don't even dream about it. We're not going to walk together because you always mock me. You just make fun of me in a bad way, and I don't like it. The main thing is that you like me, and the rest doesn't matter. You know that. Anyway, we are a great pair. I'm sure of it. You can even ask our viewers. They will surely support me. I'm sure they'll all say we're a bad pair and that we won't date. At least Kane doesn't call me names, and maybe I would have had a relationship with him. As for you, you need to stop mocking me first. Another note found. Only a few more to go, and we'll complete this. Jax, we're facing a threat unlike any other. This villain, he's not just powerful, but cunning. How do we anticipate his next move when he's always one step ahead? It's not just about brute strength, Pomni. It's about understanding his motives. What drives him? Fear, power, revenge? If we can decipher his intent, we can predict his actions. True. His patterns are erratic, but there must be a logic behind the chaos. We need to delve deeper into his past, find out what shaped him into this formidable adversary. Absolutely. But we can't ignore the present. Every move he makes leaves a trail. We need to gather intelligence, analyze his recent attacks. There's always a pattern, even in madness. Right. We need a balance of foresight and insight. What about allies? We can't do this alone. We need a team that's just as diverse in skills as we are in thinking. Agreed. We need people who can think like he does, but fight for our cause. Hackers, strategists, insiders. This isn't just a battle of fists, but a war of minds. We'll also need to be unpredictable. If he's anticipating our every move, we need to be where he least expects us. Unconventional tactics might just be our best bet. Exactly. This is more than just stopping a villain. It's about protecting what we stand for. Let's use our strengths, gather our team, and outsmart him at his own game. Yeah, here's another note. I'll get it for you now. But what if, contrary to helping us, these notes actually make things worse? What if this spell is actually meant to strengthen Kaufmo's power? I don't know. We have to act on the assumption that we're not being deceived. But it bothers me that we're alone together. It feels like it's been intentionally arranged. No way. I'd rather be eating a carrot than arguing with you. But honestly, I wouldn't mind spending the whole day with you searching for notes. It's actually quite interesting. Just kidding, of course. You're always joking. You've never been serious. Let's find the last note, and then everything should work out. Here we finally found the last note. That's great. Now I hope the spell works as it should and everything goes well. There shouldn't be any problems. I think it will be fine. I'm not sure, but I hope everything turns out perfectly. And I still get to see my carrot. I don't understand how you can not love carrots. They're the most wonderful thing nature has created. Stop mocking me. You know it doesn't work with me. Let's better start placing these notes and then we can win. This task wasn't that hard. It's much harder to ask you out on a date since you always refuse me. But maybe, sooner or later, I'll also complete this task. I never give up. I always stand my ground, you know that. 
So, Mr. Romantic Hero, what do we do next? Nothing seems to be happening. I don't understand why we did all this. Great news, everyone! Congratulations, we've won! Or rather, you guys managed to defeat him. I knew you could do it! Great news, everyone! Congratulations, we've won! Or rather, you guys managed to defeat him. I knew you could do it! You're true heroes for stopping the evil that could have penetrated our world! I can't believe it was that simple. We just had to find some notes. Such a strange task. I doubt it was the real deal. Usually, things are much more complicated. Yeah, it was too easy. Even I could have done it alone. Next time, give us something more interesting to do. It's boring otherwise. Don't worry, things will get tough soon. You found those notes because you're the chosen one drawn to them. It was only you who had a chance to find those notes, and you did it brilliantly. So, you couldn't find these notes without our help? Or rather, without my help. Aren't you an AI who can do everything? Soon you'll understand. You're not just any girl, you're our only chance. So don't talk like that. You're destined to help us. We must prepare for a great battle. What's this great battle about? Tell me already. I hope it's not another battle for a carrot because someone got bored. He won't just tell you because he's designed to create intrigue. All right, guys. Let's ask our dear friends to like and subscribe to the channel. It's really important, guys. Please like and subscribe. Yes, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We love when you watch us. The next videos will be really interesting with challenges that you'll definitely enjoy. Don't miss out!